Hey guys, Vess from uh, X-Force and today I'm gonna open up the Glock G17. Um, a lot of you guys I know would have probably had one or have one and I've had a few people asking in the past in regards to how to open it up and what sort of problems are we facing with this particular blaster? So, we're gonna do a quick uh, uh, strip, look at what the issues are, and uh, yeah, at least that way some of you guys can sort of do your own thing with them. So, firstly, as I mean, you probably know by now, nice blaster, we've done a review in the past. The first thing we do is take these uh, rails off, they're, they're separate, so that's got four screws, we'll get onto that. Okay, so that comes off, rails aside now. Next thing, being the blow back, the top bit's got to come off. Now, right about there, that's got a little pin. That's got to come out, and then once that's out, that should slide off. Um, that also might not happen if your gears are lined up in the wrong way with the gearbox and the, and the slider. Uh, so this little piece here normally you've got to tap it from this side and it's got to come out that side so let's uh, get it out the side that it's coming out it's got these little teeth um, that's got to go back in that way that's the last bit that goes in all right so that slides off now like I said that won't normally always happen if you find that that's not sliding off um, like it's it's just jamming uh, plug the battery back in uh, and turn it on and just shoot once or twice, that should sort of uh, spring it out. Alright, so for those that are looking, that's got your springs and that's sort of thing. people want to change the springs. I don't particularly uh, uh, tell people to upgrade it because these particular gears in there, they're quite weak and they tend to have problems as they are without upgrading the spring. Alright, so let's take this guy apart now. Um, yeah, because since this one runs on a 7.4 normally, and that sort of speed seems to send it a bit, uh, has a few problems. Now, normally, the problems with them is uh, the switch behind the trigger or the gears one particular gear uh, to be exact now when I do take this uh, apart I normally put my uh, thumb on the trigger and pull the rest of it off and the reason I do that is because normally it's got a little spring in there and that if you don't hold it and it comes out it just flies everywhere so that one doesn't because uh, the springs not in now, that little switch right there, uh, that tends to get stuck, so if it's ever continuously shooting, you got to replace that little switch there. Those little switches, uh, as such, can be found at Jayka uh, for around $4, so just a matter of soldering, which uh, I really hate. Now, 
Um, I'm not going to open this gearbox because it's too nicely put in there. But that's it there. This one's another gearbox I've got sitting around. And that's already open. So I'll take that apart. Alright. So that's our gearbox there. Now, in this one here, I'm not sure whether you can see this particular gear here, it's got a few teeth missing. That is what is wrong with these gearboxes. That particular gear there will always be the issue. The other gears, very rare, but that one there, uh, this top part, this top teeth here, they strip on these gears. So if you ever find that you're shooting and, and it's not happening, it's not shooting, uh, the motor's going, but it's uh, yeah, it's not spilling out any balls. Then it's most likely that gear. If it's ever continuously shooting uh, without you actually shooting, it's the switch. So these two problems are normally um, what happens with. I mean, there's there can always be something else. Uh, you know, a wire's loose, or you know, they're they're sort of standard things, but. The most problematic troubleshooting bits on this particular blaster uh, are those. So uh, that's pretty much it. Other than, like I said, um, that switch, that gear, and then yeah, you might have a, a loose wire somewhere. Uh, these blasters are pretty good, shoot quite well, and I mean, I, I think it's still probably uh, quite a favorite amongst uh, a lot of people. So. Yeah, thanks for watching, I uh, hope that helps and uh, if you have any more questions or anything just uh, shoot us a, uh, a message. Thanks guys.